Good morning, noon, afternoon, evening, or night, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm in a super flat world in Minecraft creative mode, and I'm demonstrating to you how perpetual motion is possible. First, we're going to place four pistons in a ring, like so. Second, we're going to have four redstone loops for each piston, and then a repeater at the end, so that whenever it detects a redstone signal right here, it will travel around and activate this piston. Same with the other three. And the repeater is there, because if it wasn't there, then the two redstone um, chains, or loops I would say, uh, would connect and then the machine wouldn't work. Okay, this is pretty much it for the machine. Now to power it, I'm going to place a redstone block right here. And the reason this works is when the redstone block is placed here, it powers the piston which pushes it forward to the next area, where it powers this piston which pushes it forward to the next area, which pushes it, and so on. It just travels all around the loop. Here, I'll demonstrate. You see? It's just, it will move forever and ever and ever until it runs out. Well, actually, it wouldn't run out. That's the point. It's perpetual motion. It will keep going indefinitely until some outside force destroys it. Like, if I break this one, you see it comes to a rest here. Now, it doesn't have to move quite that fast. We could set the repeaters to a longer delay time and then it moves slower, but it would still be perpetual. Like so. Whoops. Whoops, no, I did not need to do that. Um, and of course this can be extended as long as it wants to. You could have it in you could have it imbalanced, where one piston takes one time and another piston takes a different time, and it will just stay for a long time on one particular piston block. And now it's traveling, and then it pushes again. Wait a minute. What? Okay. <laughs> Maybe that didn't work out exactly as I wanted to. Maybe it was too long. Maybe it was too much long of a delay. But um, that is the basic principle behind the perpetual motion machine. Now, well, what applications can it have? You might ask. Well, if you wanted to, you could construct a lot of these, all set to the lowest setting and like hundreds of them even if you really want to go extreme and then just have them keep running and it would <laughs> it would lag out the server or the world you're in really badly so it a lot of these can be used as lag machines it can also be used as a weapon so here here's the exact same device it's just imprisoned within this st uh, stone box now Watch what happens when I use it. Oh, oops. I kind of spoiled it there. Okay, what's up now? Oh, the piston's gone. Let's try that again. No. So we take a look around to the bottom. We can see that there are four dispensers all facing down, and they're shooting out fire charges. And when they shoot out the fire charges, is controlled by the redstone block that's being pushed around. Because the redstone block will power redstone on all sides of it. Now, you couldn't construct the dispensers with anything you wanted them. 
to have. You could make them have TNT, you could make them have lava, water, sand, gravel, potions, fireworks even. <laughs> there's there's a lot of stuff you can um, put in these dispensers. Or, you could um, rig this up uh, to TNT. You could have TNT here uh, to dispense TNT. It'd only be one use, though. Or, if you want to be a little more of a pacifist, you could do this. So let's break all these. Now my, <laughs> now my, now my inventory is completely full of fire charges. But you could place redstone lamps here. And then the redstone lamps just go around and around and around and around. Or, what you could also do... You could just have one redstone lamp, and then it would trigger... It would just blink. That one lamp would blink on and off whenever the redstone block is above it. And like I said, you could control how long that lamp blinks on and how often it blinks on with various settings of the repeater. So that is my little redstone contraption of today. I hope you enjoyed it, and perhaps you'll put it to good use. And I need a better outro. Thanks for watching.